Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to triple boot your Mac without installing third party uh, boot menu managers like uh, Refit. If you don't mind using Refit, then uh, that is the easier path to getting native triple boot. However, if you're like me and you don't like going through the Refit menu every time you boot up, then uh, this guy's for you. Once we have triple boot, I'll show you how to use the natively installed OS's as virtual machines using VMware Fusion. Um, this whole process is for people who are fairly comfortable using terminal. Um, if you're not, then you could try and carefully follow each step, but uh, please back up your computer. Now, what you need. Um, obviously a copy of the OS, the third OS you want to install. In my case it's Linux. A USB or a blank DVD to create the bootable disk or USB. And uh, a program called G-Disk. Refit and finally VMware Fusion. Note that Refit will only be needed once after that you can delete it. Let's start with creating the bootable USB. If, you, if you're looking to install Ubuntu, um, the easiest way I've found to create a bootable USB uh, for Linux was to install Linux using uh, VMware Fusion and there's a program called uh, Startup Disk Creator and uh, that's your best option. I, I've managed to create a, a bootable USB uh, using Terminal converting the ISO image into DMG and then mounting the DMG file on the USB but it's hit and miss so you're best off, you know, quickly installing Linux on a virtual machine and creating the USB from there. The reason I used Ubuntu 12 instead of 13 is that Ubuntu 13 was giving me an error uh, and Ubuntu 12 wasn't. While this completes, we can install G-Disk. Okay, so while we wait, we can uh, partition our hard disk uh, to install Linux. Um, you can, well, open up Disk Utility and uh, click on your main hard drive and click on Partition. Now on the OS X partition, uh, select and click plus and from there you can choose uh, the new partition size uh, and uh, yeah, rename and just apply. Now at this point your bootcamp partition should no longer work. Don't worry you haven't lost data, We're, we'll fix that in just a minute. Because Apple requires the bootcamp partition to be among the first four partitions, um, creating this 
Ubuntu partition made the bootcamp shift down to fifth, so technically it won't be bootable yet. As you can see, I don't have the option to select my bootcamp partition anymore. So to install Linux, select the EFI boot partition of the USB created earlier and uh, press enter on try Ubuntu. Once you boot into Ubuntu, click on the install Ubuntu icon on your desktop. Now, when asked about installation type, select something else. And if you remember, I partitioned my uh, Linux at 50 gigabytes. So double click on the, the Linux partition and uh, select the bootloader installation partition to be the same as the one you're installing Linux on. In my case it's SDA4. Now if you you, you usually are required to create a swap file partition when installing Linux. Uh, this helps uh, the system run faster when, uh, uh, when you run out of memory, but um, because I've got 16 gig of RAM, I'm not going to do it. But if you have anything less than 6 or 4 gig, I would recommend you create a uh, a swap partition as well. At this point you should be able to see your boot camp partition again, uh, however it still won't be bootable. Uh, don't worry, we'll fix that in the next step. Alright, this is where you need to be extremely careful. Make sure your Ubuntu and uh, well your Linux and Windows partitions are are there, and remember the numbers. And when asked after entering H in terminal, uh, make sure you put in only the Linux and Windows partition uh, sequence numbers, and uh, not your Max. So in my case, Ubuntu is 4 and Windows is 5, so 4 and 5 separated by a space. And uh, for the Ubuntu partition, um, the MBR hex code is 83 and uh, set it as bootable. And for the Windows partition, it's 07 by default. Uh, also bootable. Um, don't use unused partition space. Um, and write your disk. Once that's done, you can restart your uh, computer holding the Alt Option key. If everything has gone well, you shouldn't 
to be able to see your bootcamp partition anymore again this is where refit comes in you can also try repairing uh, your hard disk permissions uh, to make your bootcamp visible but uh, I wouldn't recommend it as it might mess up the hybrid master boot record Since refit hasn't been updated in a while, um, it doesn't really support mountain lion. So if you're on lion or mountain lion, you need to open up terminal and uh, type in the following two lines and, and uh, refit will work. At this point, you should see a Linux logo in your refit boot menu but if you don't like uh, like in my case now then uh, you need to repair the grub menu in your uh, Linux partition just enter in the first EFI icon you see before the Apple and select Ubuntu boot in your Linux partition so go on the following link and uh, repeat the steps to repair the grub menu in your Linux partition as described in the website. After running the boot repair in Linux, you should go back to your Mac partition and recreate the hybrid master boot record. And once you do, you, sh you can reboot your computer and the, icon the Linux icon should be in your refit menu. Now all you have to do is select the Linux icon in refit and uh, you'll have a grub menu and from there select the Windows bootloader to boot in Windows not Linux. Once Windows boots you can restart your computer uh, and uh, delete refit and you you'll now be able to access your bootcamp partition and the grub menu without refit by holding the alt option key to do that just go in uh, your computer's hard drive and uh, delete the EFI folder and uh, go into library and go down to startup items and delete the refit blesser. This completely removes refit. Now restart your computer holding the alt option key and you'll finally be able to boot into whichever operating system you choose.